I'm sure I'm not the only one that realizes that society is just literally gone to pot. Um, and I'm sure that, that, that a lot of you share uh, my same sentiments and observations, especially those of us who've been in this world uh, for a little while. You know, when I start mentioning things like I've almost been in this world half a century, that means I'm getting old. And that means I've been around just for a little bit, just for a little while, so I can be able to tell. I can actually be able to tell, um, you know, the changes um, of, from one generation to the next. And I can tell you, we're quickly eroding, but what I'm on is another police story again. A man gets shot and killed by police for reaching for his wallet. Now watch this. There's a manhunt going on. I don't know if they um, have allegedly um, secured this, you know, th this cat who done this crime or not. I don't know if they got him or not. But apparently, um, there's this man out that has done kill the police. And have you seen the show of force and all the taxpayer resources, time and money and effort that they're putting into finding this one man over one police officer that was shot? And then, have you seen the media coverage of it? Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's bad anytime anyone gets shot, especially if they're shot by a police officer. I think it's wrong if a police officer gets shot. But let's just look at this. This thing is disproportionate, unbelievable, on an unprecedented scale. It's disproportionate. Look how much money they're wasting on the taxpayer to get after one guy to kill one police officer and ask yourself this question right here. Whenever people get killed in this world, in this society right here, do they actually use the same amount of resources? Do they actually use the same amount of oomph? No, no, no. I, I venture to say, unless she looks like a good old red bone American and stuff, they ain't making a big stink over it about it at all. And that's just the truth. But I tell you, what a wicked society we get in. And now, you know, hey, we no tell how many millions of dollars we're out just for looking for one guy that shot one police officer. And many of you may say, you know, again, listen to me. It's tragic whenever a police officer gets shot. It's tragic whenever a police officer, which this seems to be an epidemic in this society, shoots innocent civilians, and then all of them. And that's the reason why there's such an outrage today. And all of them get off with it. And then, of course, it's in the paper, Ferguson Police Chief apologizes to the family of Michael Brown. Well, you know just what I do, words are cheap. Um, go ahead, state, go ahead, state of Missouri and get ready to dig in your pocket and give them at least $10 million for the loss, innocent loss of their son, uh, because it's a sad, sad situation. And um, we're getting ready and we're setting up and getting geared up for the wild, wild west. Um, because, you know, I often tell you about the movie Braveheart, and you notice how Edward Longshanks and them who just have to be the ruling authority and stuff and what they think about, you know, an attack on one of uh, 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 Edward Longshanks' uh, swordsmen is, is like an attack on the king himself. And that's how they view things and stuff. But, you know, whenever they kill you, do you wrong, all of a sudden um, they get acquitted. They get off. They get vacation with pay. And, and this is a government you're trying to tell me that we the people actually set up, I don't believe it at all. Just like I don't believe that those people, that the people voted against sovereignty over there across the pond. I think it, it, it's been rigged and had. I think that the powers that be has got such a stranglehold on control of the people that they're not about to relinquish it, loose it, or let it go at any time soon.